Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Atlas. My name is Larissa. If you're new to the channel, I really hope that you're doing well. In today's episode, I would like to share with you my knowledge about IDs. It can be object ID, user ID, record type ID, and the where could we use this? Why is it so important to know what are the benefits of uh, IDs? It's uh, not going to take too much time. It's a very simple thing that I really wanted to cover because uh, there are so many benefits from just knowing how to find IDs and how to apply them in automation processes. As always, I'm in one of my trailhead playgrounds and uh, i just opened the case page we can just go back home every record in salesforce is going to have uh, a record id and it can be also let me open opportunities that could be also as i mentioned a user id now if i go to this opportunity then uh, this opportunity is a unique record in Salesforce. And as a unique record, it is going to have its unique ID. And the unique ID you can find at the, at the top of the page here in the, in the site. You can double click on this number. Whenever you double click on the number and you can, with the right click, you can copy it. Or if you, if you just go back and again, you double click and you just uh, copy it with your keyboard, you have copied this uh, unique ID number of this opportunity. And the, what you can do, you can apply your ID later in um, business processes and automation. I will use another example. Let me go to setup and uh, in setup, a system administrator profile now i'm going to open it and uh, even system administrators have their own unique profile profile id every profile has its unique id if you want to target the specific audience and uh, the same applies to record ids as a whole so if here i was looking at the specific record then you can also target record types and if i open this account object and uh, open record types. I haven't got any record types here. That's not a good example. I will just uh, open perhaps cases. Maybe in cases I will have record type. All right, so we have record type inquiry. Let's say if I want to target cases with the specific record type and um, if I have two support teams working in with different record types. Now again, double click and you can copy paste your uh, inquiries record type ID and then you can target this record type in your flows. Let's say here's a very quick example. I have copied, I have copied the inquiry case record type and now I'm going to build a targeted flow that would trigger something on the on cases and uh, in flows i open new flow and i'm going to select record triggered flow just as an example and uh, i'm going to select cases now i know that i have my unique uh, case record type id and uh, i haven't got any decisions or criteria but let's say I want to update the record. Whatever happens, whatever changes are made, have been done, I'm just going to update this specific record type ID and uh, how I'm going to find it. I need to use, I need to select the case record type, Re record type ID equals this number because i previously copy pasted and i want to target this specific case record type id whatever changes i haven't set up any uh, criteria any condition but let's imagine that i was doing something and i want to target some specific case record type id i'm going to put in my conditions and then i can put the new field values now that's just a very quick wrap up how to target some specific record type ids and you can do this with accounts opportunities and uh, your custom objects anything that you can imagine you can use and now if i go back so you can use this in flows these specific ids and in flows you can build notifications 
emails, various triggers. And the same as well applies to workflow rules, which we are not really using as much. But even there, you can set up your criteria if you're still using them. And that's in brief about um, our record IDs or specific user or profile IDs that you can apply in your automation processes. This is, I think, the most useful if you're building something in your flow and you want to target specific audience, that's where you can use it. In general, IDs are important and I hope that this quick video was useful for you, for those of you who are maybe new to Salesforce. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time again. Bye-bye.